All right, you guys, welcome back to Polonius. We are still where we left off at the end of the last video, hanging out in Surefall Glade. And I'm just kind of like wondering if there's any other quests I can get. But, you know, I'm tired of talking to all these NPCs. Um, but I did talk to a couple, and they say they want, they're want they after the poachers. So if I kill poachers, I can turn those in. Um, <clears throat> Till then, we're just going to make our priority leveling up this two-hand slash getting closer to level seven when we can get some more training points and train our bash skill <laughs> and uh, also hunting wolves and bears um, apparently we don't have the faction yet with the the female miller chandra or chanda uh, who does the bear skin armor but we can still do turn-ins with her husband baobab or i assume their husband See, so watch Baobab will talk to me. But if I hail Chanda, she says, um, I do not know you, please leave me be. So, I don't know. We already got two out of the three wolf hide gear things that he can make for us, but there's still one more to get from him. And it's the high quality, uh, high quality wolf pelt one. Or no, is it the... I forget. Let's see, we got the boots. Let's talk to him again and find out exactly. Interestingly enough, nobody's here killing either the millers or the guards. I'll have to figure out how to make raise my faction with Chanda. Or maybe I can just hand her the things and maybe she'll do it. Maybe if I talk to him, sister... If you tell her Baobab sent you, I'm sure she can help you into some nice bear skin and boots. Oh... She doesn't really like to meet new people. Okay, that's cool. I just have to say Baobab sent me. Baobab sent me. Oh, I did not do that right. Whoa. <laughs> Baobab sent me. Did I spell it wrong? Baobab sent me. Oh, hello. My name is Chanda. Polonius is your name? That's a nice name. My brother sent you to talk to me. You must want some bear um, clothes. Yes, I'd like to know more about clothes. Um, I know how to make um, cloaks and boots. Oh, yes, and belts. I love to make bearskin belts. Um, I really like belts. My brother says I have to start charging more gold for my stuff, though. Ooh, okay. Cloaks. I really don't feel comfortable helping you in that way. You need to prove yourself to me by aiding my friends and my family in the Plains of Piranha before I will help you. Oh my gosh, you're such a prissy pants. Looks like she makes the same slots, though, as her brother. So I think he is going to be the one we're going to go with. Garment. I make the finest with boots. Cloaks. Hmm. I wouldn't feel comfortable helping you to prove yourself. Dude. I already traded with you. Okay, I think what it is is I can turn it in. They're not going to tell me the recipes, but I can turn it in and get the item. Ooh, this is, this is a nice find because I think we're going to get a two-handed sword, which is really much more... Where did he go? No, the lag stole my reward. He just disappeared, man. No, I really want to get the two-handed sword because I think it attacks faster. Which would be better for our leveling, and I just think it looks cooler. The axe is pretty cool, though. I'm not going to lie. I dig it. Okay, so we're looking for bears and wolves. But while we're doing so, we're gonna kill any skeletons we see, especially ones with two-handed swords. And I'm thinking since we're in the neighborhood, we might just go check out some gnolls over in Blackboro. And see how we how we fare against their level range right now. So these ones are blue. We can't do anything about them because they all come together, but if those guys are blue, this might be a good place. It might be time to start hunting these gnolls over here. And um, I guess armor be darned. I mean, 
The wolves seem a little scarce. Like, we found a few. There's one. It's a little bit of a dangerous area to get involved with the wolf. And I think that that, that chick who likes me that I just conned, I think she will defend the wolves. I'm, I feel like I have a vague memory of that. Oh, wow. We got a two-hand slash level up and a defense level up right away. There we go. So I'll look up what what other what I need to get the cloak from Bob Bob. In the meantime, though, I'll just kill wolves and get what I can. And also try out some knolls. For example, this knoll, a knoll. Let's pull him over here. Oh, he he sn we hit him good, he hit us good. Now they're gonna run, that's the problem with the gnolls. But we're near his zone line, and we have lay on hands. Wow, he's sort of kicking my butt. I, th I think we're lagging out, I'm not seeing any action on my end. Like swinging of any sort. He's hit us a bunch of times in a row. He's got a clear lead on us right now. Might be wise to switch to my one hand with a shield for now. We can land more hits maybe. Take less damage. There we go. Yep, there we go. Might also be more wise to start investing in some bandages. Because it's looking like we're going to have some serious downtime if we start hunting these guys. Although it might be better to just met it up and save the money, I don't know. Wow, a fang right off the bat. I like it. Rusty Scythe, 8 and 51. We'll take it. We'll see if uh, what we can do with it. 8 and 51 versus a 9 and 49. Obviously, 9 and 49 is better. But now look at this. We got this huge, huge mid time ahead of us after each kill. That kind of, that kind of bites. You know what? I think we're gonna do. We're gonna try to run in to Blackborough itself. Now there should be one null. That patrols this hall here. He might be right, right there. <clears throat> We're gonna met up as much as we can before he starts walking around this corner, and we're gonna see if we can't take him. If we can take him. If we can't, we'll we'll know, and we can uh, just quickly run past him into the zone. But I think in the zone there's scrawny knolls, which I think will be blue to us, but lower level than these ones. It'll be much better for, for us right now, considering that we have such low armor. We don't want to spend so much time in meditation. Anyway, I'm going to pause it for a second. Alright, I was almost positive this guy was a patrol, but he's been sitting here, standing there the whole time, hasn't moved. So I guess he's a static spawn, or if he is a patrol, he sits in a particular spot for quite a while. And we've been able to med pretty much up to full HP, so... Let's uh, let's take care of this bad boy. Offense just went up two levels right away. That's awesome. One hand blunt isn't even max yet. Wow, look at us crushing it. If we can go like this, and we're at 22%, I'm curious how much we'll get out of this kill. If we can crush Knolls like that, man. We got 1%, so he's probably a lower level-ish dark blue, but I mean, still awesome. Now let's see what the scrawny knolls look like. If the scrawny knolls are like light blue or even dark blue, I think I can get away with leveling up my two-hand slash on them a bit. If we can just get like, I think with the XP we got last level, I think if we get like, oh that music. If we just get like six or seven knoll fangs, you know, we're probably gonna level. Is this guy gonna attack me? No, he's dubious. Just don't, don't piss him off. 
Let's try the axe this time. And they make Nullfang stack on this server, which is epic. Let's see how we do against him. If he kicks our butt, we'll just switch back to our, our one hand. damage 18 pointer hit there but dang he is he's letting us have it too no doubt about that seems incredibly inefficient actually it's probably because the skills so low um, unless a, a scrawny null could potentially be a higher level then let's try if we switch let's see if that changes much we're still taking some big hits over here dang and he's gonna run too. Oh, I thought I was the one who accidentally zoned out for a second there. Where'd he go? Oh shoot. Come on, hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Oh no, don't do this to me. Thank you. Haha. -ha. Oh, so that was like 3%, so. Okay. So this is the kind of moment where a bandage or two would save us some time. Look at, we got 42%. We're going to need to to met up now. Someone's over there doing some fighting. Anyway, I'm going to pause it, but I can't really step away, right? <laughs> this is dangerous territory. Man, this sucks having to met up this much HP. And, uh not being able to look away but I guess it is what it is hardcore baby oh that lady who just ran by me conned yellow to me and she's also running the self found hardcore rule set that's pretty cool maybe I shouldn't have done solo maybe I didn't need to put that in then I could also play with other self found hardcores that would have been a cool dimension to leave available but I decided to go for the whole shabam and so that's what we're doing. Too late to turn back now. Alright, forgot to unpause, but I pulled another scrawny null after minute up to 91. And this one, I really schooled. I'm at 26%. Let's see what it goes up to. I suspect he's a level or two lower than the last one. Yeah, it only went up 1%. Okay, so I'm trying to attribute, like, is it because of trying to use the two-hand slash or is it because of the level and it seems to be, be largely because of the level but I'm sure the two-hand slash as well because my two-hand slash is really low level and my one-hand blunt is not yet maxed anyway so might as well use it but I just ah oh, since I'm using the shield anyway I really wish you know I had invested in In the uh, what's it called? The bash skill. I, uh, I'm still beating myself up over that. Understandably so. See, this one must be a higher level one because he is kicking our butt quite a bit. Now we still have lay on hands. Just gotta remember to use it and to use it on myself if it comes to that. And yeah, I'm gonna try that before I run. Oh, he's laying into me right now. Gonna get close on this one. We might not be ready for this zone. We might need to go out and hunt some bears, which is fine. I might go to the Karanas, because I think there's a, a lot more bears in the Karanas. And there might be, even be some more quests there, too. I'll see. 27 should go up to like 30. Boom. Very nice. Unfortunately, not another Fang, but I mean, we're lucky to have gotten one so far. So that pop is back up. Gonna met up here. Hmm, I mean, I could use bandages, but at the same time, I'm trying to save up money for the armor. It's a tough spot with the finances here. Gonna 
pause while we med. Alright, we're ready for another pull. <coughs> another kill, I guess I should say. Let's hope it goes our way. Um, this is dangerous enough for me to want to keep recording, even though most of this is just grinding, but um, I am going to pause through the med sessions, and if I'm getting 1-3% to per kill, and the kills are happening this fast, I don't think it'll take too long of a video, take too long to, to make a video of a level up. Look at that. Occasionally we kill one and we still got like full XP. Other times we kill one and they get us down to like 40%. And that's just like probably a level or two of variance. Kalmathar just said he actually thinks they're putting in Breeze soon. What? No fair. I went through a bunch of levels without it. It looks like someone else is in here because usually there's a knoll up here and there's a knoll up here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to... Well, this guy should be safe to kill here, I think. Uh, depending on which way he runs and how far he gets when he runs. But I'm worried about getting this far away from the zone line. <sighs> but the ones that were crushing it like this, I think I'm going to try switching to two-hand slash and see how we do for a second. Take a couple hits. There we go. One hand blunt still has not maxed anyway though. See now he's already running and it's looking like a dangerous... There we go. 1% on him. But yeah, that was, a, that was a bit worrisome. Like where was he going? And I didn't even realize there was an open space there. And see now we got a scrawny knoll up here. And I think we're ready to take him. Let's bring him over here. We just killed that spawn recently, so I'm pretty sure we're good there. The RNG is being alright to us, or it's just the levels are not so extreme right now. So wow, look at when this thing lands, it does a good job. That's for sure. The problem is our skill is so low. So when we do go back on our next level up, we're going to put one point into bash, but I think I'm still going to drop the rest of the points in a two-hand slash, because this is, a, I think, a good way to solo. See, now he's starting to, like, really cream us a little bit. I'm going to switch back to one hand with the shield. There we go. We got him on the run. Unfortunately, he's still got enough HP to get some distance. Thirty-one goes up to... Thirty-four. We got three percent on that kill. So that's definitely a level thing, more so than a weapon choice thing. But I think we do fare better with the one hand and the shield. But that's to be expected because our one hand blunt is up to twenty-eight and our two hand slashing is down at fourteen. That's a huge skill difference. I'm going to tend to met up a bit. Alright, let's see how we fare against this scrawny knoll. Starting out with the two-hand slash. Oh, a nice big hit, but look at his HP. So this one's got some HP, I think. We'll still give it a shot, but if he starts to beat, him, beat on us too much, we're going to switch for sure. There's a nice big hit again. Alright, not bad, not bad. Just need RNG to keep coming through for us a little bit, pull him back a little bit, give him less room to run. Hopefully we get a nice big hit that takes him well below, that was pretty good, well below 20% so he doesn't run too fast. And then secondly, I hope we can land, good vault there, 2 hand slash to 15, come on, finish him off. go. That was another been nice big chunk of XP right there. That guy might be next. But first, another med session. Dang, this is rough.
Alright, next knoll. I guess could be this guy. Probably should be. But I'm worried about a respawn on the guy we just killed. I suppose we got enough time with him. Let's give this guy a try. So far... Not going well. We haven't landed a single hit. Might need to switch to that one hand. Let's see though. Let's give another swing or two. There we go. Okay. He hasn't hit us that hard, so I'm gonna think it's just RNG. Gonna ride it out. I'd like to get this two hand slash up because it is some nice DPS. And I like how it looks. I like that swinging it down like that kind of look. For having such low AC, I'm surprised how much uh, damage we're avoiding. It's probably because he's a, he's probably like a lower level. Or I'm thinking we got like a, a three level variance here because some of the the lower ones are so easy, some of the upper ones were so hard. I'm thinking this one's probably like right in the middle. But look at this RNG, man! It's just miss, miss, miss for us right now. There we go, a couple of hits. Not the big ones though. Okay, he's down to 30%. There we go. He's, oh, he's running fast. That's not good. I'm switching to one hand blunt because I want to get him down before he gets far. I think, yeah, I think we have a higher chance of doing that with our one hander. Now, did we try this guy now? I don't think we have to try him now, but we're gonna, we don't want to sit next to that pup. What we're gonna do is we're gonna sit over here, that way we're near the spawn of the mob we just killed. So we know nothing's gonna spawn on us. We're gonna met up some HP and then kill this one next. Got a nice little rotation going here, boyos. Nice little rotation. Sorry about the music. I could turn it down. I think it's just kind of... I'll turn it down a little bit. Alright. Here we go. <clears throat> there we go. I wonder if the Null Pups can drop Fangs. Maybe I should be killing them too just for the possibility of getting Fangs. Oh, there's another two hand slashing level up. Very nice. Now we're going to be able to drop one point into Bash and four points into two hand slash when, when we go back to our trainer. So hopefully, you know, if we get it up a couple more levels, so like 18, and we drop four, that'll bring it up to 22. One hand blunts at 28. I think our max is 30. So that'll pretty much bring it in range to be, you know, a viable option. We no longer have to worry about relying on other skills to finish off mobs. Now, unless she killed him, this spawn should be popping pretty soon. Let's get back here before he does pop. We should be able to see him right there like that. And we'll met up here. Alright, I'm thinking that other player we saw must have killed this spawn, because I think it should have respawned by now. And we're, um... Yeah, she's killing gnolls just like we are. Let's see if she is also... When you consider someone, it will tell you. Nope, she is not solo self fend or anything like that, but... She looks pretty organic. Hold on, I need to pause. Alright, sorry, I got a phone call in the middle of that kill. Nothing happened. Killed him, but I gotta go to a class that I forgot about. <laughs> but I'll resume this shortly, in your time anyway. Alright, we we're back. Let's get started. Fingers crossed for skill ups. Or even just some hits would be nice. A good place to start. Like landing a hit. 
There we go. Here's one. Oh, this is, must be one of the lower level ones. Like, RNG has been bad to us, but look it, we're crushing them now. So he's probably only going to give us a 1% movement on the old uh, XP bar. We're 42%. Up to 43. Looks like we got Nad already. Okay. We're good for it, I think. This one's beating us down a little bit. I'm going to switch to shield and staff just to be careful. Staff still needs a couple level ups anyway, so it's not a waste of skill up time to use it. Skill ups not so fast. Let's see, what's our dex? 85. Okay, not horrible, but not great. That's about where all of our stats are. We got 85 strength, 75 stamina, 90 agility. Pretty decent there, which should help our defense go up a bit faster. 85 dex, 80 wisdom. That's probably our weakest link. And 85 charisma. Kind of wish we had more wisdom, but then again, I'm thinking um, we shouldn't be doing too much casting in battle anyway. I mean, I suppose that there might be some undead we want to cast a bunch against. But for the most part, we don't need all that much mana in battle. For example, with my ranger. It didn't seem like I could use all my mana in battle, no matter what I did. And he had about 95 wisdom. So I'm thinking it's, for the most part, going to be the same. I mean, the paladin does have undead nukes, which could be useful. But I think if, if we start with a full mana bar, it's enough mana for whatever we would need in a fight. And outside the fight, just meditate to full. It's hardcore. So that's what we should be doing anyway. Speaking of which... It's time to meet up right now. Now, I, I remember hearing something in the lore recently about this fossil image on the wall here of Black Barrel. But maybe I was mistaken. Maybe I'm mixing it up with something somewhere else. <clears throat> Kids decided to come in and get their voices heard. <laughs> All right, pause while we met up here. Check out this little thing I found. Look at my head right now. You can see he's bald. And then watch, I do this magic. Boom, there's the hair. And then, boom, it's gone. It's back. It's gone. It's back. It's gone. <laughs> thought that was kind of funny. So we are nearly there. 90% um, HP. Ready to hop back in. But I've been kind of looking around for... I want to get a better weapon. And I'm hoping to not have to pay much for it so I'm I've been surfing the p99 wiki all of the possible paladin eligible uh, one hand blunt uh, one hand slash two hand slash weapons that you could possibly get and uh, preferably would like to get something magic apparently there's a tarnished mace 536 from North Quenos, but our crack staff is already 532, so the crack staff is already better than that. Um, yeah, I've been going through the one hand blunt first, and I haven't even finished going through that. And it's not looking good so far, but hopefully things get better when I check out the one hand slash and two hand slash options. Um, I did see like a two hand bronze sword. But it's like 32 platinum, and I really don't know how we're going to get there. You know, unlike my other cell phone character, which I allowed to sell to other players. Like, he was able to get Crush Bomb belts, and I let him sell to other players. Just couldn't buy anything from other players. Uh, there's no none of that going on here. So we can only sell to vendors whatever we loot ourselves to get make plat. Alright, we're this is a tough fight, apparently. Let's switch back to our... Our bread and butter weaponry here. Get a little extra AC. We might have to burn a lay on hands on this fight unless RNG starts to turn around. There we go. That was nice. We need better than that though. He's still beating us at the moment. There we go. We took the lead. He took it back. Dang. This guy's tough. This guy is tough. And we're not getting lucky. Like, I guess we're getting partially lucky. He's missing us as much as we're missing him. But it's like, where's our hits, you know? I'd rather not burn my lay on hands right now. 
Looks like I might have to, though. Yeah, we're probably going to have to, just because we don't want to risk it. Unless RNG really turns around for us right about now. Wow. Alright, there we go. Burned it. I mean, I could have just zoned, I guess. And saved it. Might as well burn it, though. And then I can always zone next time I'm in trouble. Hopefully. There we go. Finally, another Fang. That's only our second Fang. And we've kind of killed a f quite a few of these guys, have we not? Oh look, our good friend Z Zone Line Spawn is back up. Let's, uh, let's get to work on him. big hit in the end to, to finish it off. And now we're 50% in. Oh, we got an ad. Let's hope we do well on this one. Two hand slashing up to 17. This will be a quick three kills thanks to lay on hands. Oh, two hand slashing, 18. Very nice. Keep it coming. <laughs> please, please. I think our offense might have maxed out. I gotta make sure I pay attention to our HP though, because we're starting to... Offense is at 30, so I think offense is in fact maxed out. Uh oh, we're starting to get our butt kicked a little bit. Alright, we're gonna go with the shield and the one hand blunt again. I'd really rather finish this guy off without having to zone. I think we're gonna pull it off. Ooh. Yeah, we should be fine. All the other spawns around here are down. We just got to get him down to 20% before he gets us down to 20%. And it's looking good to do that. Just need one more hit. There we go. See, now everything else that would help him out is down. Unless he gets really far away, which is, looks like it's not happening. There we go. One hand blunt just leveled up twice in a row consecutively. And another fang. I love it. All right. And now we're at 53%. So, need a nice long mench sesh. Kind of wish I had bandages, but honestly, I really want to save up for another weapon. Uh, if I had a better weapon, right? Could crush these guys, take far less damage, kill them far faster, add a couple kills to each rotation. Um, bandages also would help with that, though. I could be, be do bind wound with the two or three times and get myself up to 50. But again... We are just broke, and I don't see any real way to make money here. You can't sell the fangs, and even if you could sell them to other players, I can't, you know. So I'm really not sure how I'm supposed to make money here. Um, the The closest way to make money that I can tell is bandits when the time comes, but that's like level 12-ish, I think, before we're going to be comfortable enough to go out there and try to solo some bandits. Unfortunately... We don't get our lull until level 15, so we're not going to be able to split pull till then. Um, so, but I think there's some bandits. Like, there's, I know there's one bandit patrol that can be singled, and then near that bandit patrol, there's some bears. And I'm picturing just like uh, one little farmstead, not too far from the Quenos Hill zone line in the Karanas, and near that little village. I, I'll show you later. Those who are familiar with the zone might know what I'm talking about. Those who aren't, this just sounds like gibberish. But you can see we've been fighting for a while. We've still got seven gold on us right now. Well, maybe eight. Like eight, maybe nine. Maybe nine gold is what we got right now. Not even a platinum. So like a, 30, a 32 platinum bronze two-handed sword. We're going to be able to turn in null sashes probably before we have that much platinum. You know what I mean? Especially since at nine we have to buy spells. So, 
I mean, we're barely gonna have enough money for that. And we still got a bunch of empty gear slots. Uh, wrist, arms, two wrists, arms, back, and shoulders. And, I mean, we have an old gray tunic for a chest piece. I think we can do better than that. So, yeah, I don't... I'm gonna check out some more weapons, see if there's any options, anything we can get our hands on that would be an improvement to this. So far, not looking like much I can I can do. But I think for like two or three platinum I can get a one hand slash that's better than better than this crack staff even, like an axe. I think an axe was actually a really good upgrade, relatively speaking. Anyway, I'm sorry to make this such a long video. Um, you know, the video is already 36 minutes long, and I'm only halfway through the level. But I just feel like this is a slightly. I'm kind of pushing it a little bit, and um, I wanted to catch any any excitement on video, especially a death, because it would be not a death; it would be the death. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I don't think if I died, I'd be like, alright, let's start again. No, not right now. So I want to make sure I do catch the death on video, if it should happen. But so far, I'm feeling pretty comfortable and confident with this character, especially with the lay on hands. Um, I feel like he does a pretty good job. If I can just get some, some gear... I think he'll be very survivable. I was watching Classic Duo with that Paladin, and of course he's twinked, but that Paladin was tanking something nice, you know, something very nice. Later we're going to have Lol help us split pull and Root. I don't think we get Root till our 20s though, so it's going to be, a, but if we do make it that far, Root is just going to be so great. We can hopefully Root a mob. Don't let it get too close. Root a mob and uh, escape, right? Dexalamus, High Elf Druid, level 10. Level 10 Druid killing the pups around here. Like, really? Like, I'm level 6. Why are you running around killing the... I don't even kill the pups. So that means he's probably looking for fangs. The fact that I'm here doesn't seem to mean anything to him. But anyway, let's grab this spawn before he does. Even though we're only at 85% HP, let's just hope RNG goes our way and or... Oh, there's a nice big fat hit, and it took so much of his HP. I think we're dealing with a lower level null here. There we go. Yeah, looks good. 55% It's probably just going to go up to 56, but hopefully if we're lucky, we get another Fang. A few more Fangs, and I'm pretty sure we can ding level 7 if we want to, which I think we do. Because the more points we... If we unlock Bash, that's huge. We want to be skilling that up. The more points that we put into Hand Slash, the more... The better we're going to do, the faster we're going to kill. Let's see how many fangs we have now. Three. Not great, but... I mean, you saw they gave like 26% last time or something. So now, let's let's just say that was cut by half, right? 13%. And I'm betting it might be more than that. But let's just say 13% times three. Looking at like 40%, we're almost have enough to ding. Like, one more fang... You know, especially after just a couple more kills or something, and I would feel like we got a ding under our belt. We just need to go do the turn in. Which is perhaps what we'll do. Keep this video from getting too long. You know, I'm gonna met up to full before I range any further away from the zone line. Alright, everything around here is down. And as much as it pains me to take such a risk. I think I am going to go fight this scrawny knoll over here. Oh look, we just crushed him for 18 right off the bat. Took him down to 66%. So I think, unless RNG really screws us over, I think we're going to kill this guy without him running too far. AKA, relatively safely. Oh god. Oh good, he did not go down the path towards uh, Everfrost. So... We got lucky there. If he had, we would have had a couple ads and we would have had to bail. 
see you can look down there and see there's a scrawny knoll right there a scrawny knoll right there and another one over there it had three now let's see what, if this guy's alone over here because we still got 100 hp it looks like he is so let's take him oh this might be a stronger one we hit him for 12 but he's still got quite a bit of hp so yeah this must be a higher level one might need to switch to one hand blunt if he starts railing us but so far so good Okay, he is starting to rail us now. Okay, I don't want to take too much of a risk just trying to level up two hand slash. We can level it up on the lower level ones quite safely and, and efficiently. Trying to level it up on the higher level ones is inefficient because it just requires us to med so much longer. Fifty-seven goes up to come on. 60, so that's a 3 percenter. Nice. We did get an, an ad, which is a null. I... Where did he come from? I, I can't say. Oh god, I don't know how this is... This is not looking great. I'm thinking of just zoning him. This is hardcore. That would be the wise thing to do. Lay on hands is down. Yeah, we gotta zone this guy. And that's playing it safe, my friends. This guy, we got to do it. Like, we might have been able to take him, you know? RNG goes our way a little bit. But he was clearly not one of the scrawny knolls. He was a knoll, right? So he wasn't going to be like with some of the easier scrawny knolls. And uh, that's the only thing I would feel comfortable really going after in that position. Now the problem is, over here we got a knoll too. Let's try him, because we got to wait till the other guy leaves the zone line anyway. And look at that, we're crushing this one. So I think we're going to be able to kill this one. Yep, there we go. So we got it. We got an old kill out of it anyway. Albeit a 1%er with a fang. It might be time to go turn in some fangs, but I'd rather... Do a couple more rounds and really make sure we're going to get that level when I do. Alright, while we're meeting up, I was looking up quests. I found a quest that starts in South Quenos for a cast iron longsword or a cast iron mace. I suppose you choose. The longsword is much better though. Um, maybe it's random though. Oh... Okay, and I don't think I'm going to go for it because you have to kill zombie sailors in Urid's Crossing. These are level 10, so it wouldn't be achievable anytime soon anyway. And also, Urid's Crossing, I mean, if you watch my, what was it, my last video or the video before that, it is a scary place. There's no zone line to escape to, you know, and, and I assume these zombies, they're on a sunken ship, so I think that means that I'm fighting them underwater. They're level 10 warriors. I don't know if there's only one or if there's multiple. So how am I going to split them? I probably can't even try them until level 12. I think our best bet is to just start killing bandits in uh, Karanas. Because you turn in the sashes and I think you get bronze weapons for turning in the sash bandit sashes. So we're going to do that. And just out of curiosity right now, I'm going to give a try to some of the gnolls out here. I think there's one that's... Ooh, a rabbit grizzly bear's corpse. Well, that... Whoa, someone's been... Look, there's everything out here is down. It's, oh! This reeks of Varun. I am, uh... I'm going back to the safety of Blackboro. <laughs> I mean, who would slaughter everything like that? You know? Maybe just another player, I guess. But we do need to kill those rabbit grizzlies. Oh, Bolsius, Hello. Looks like he's doing some similar grind to me. Anyway, let's get started. Nailed him out outright. He's beating he's hitting us hard, twelve and six, but we landed a nice nineteen right out of the gate. But I think this is one of the higher level ones. 
we'd probably do well to switch now. Get the extra AC and the higher hit chance with our better skilled one hand blunt. So yeah, still looking for a way to get a weapon upgrade because that would be the biggest effect to us, but also gear. I'm really jealous that Korvac, our, in our self-found friends group, Korvac was the dwarf paladin and he quested like pretty much like plate gear at like level 6. I'm not sure exactly how he did it. We gotta get this kill before we even think about zoning. And we're gonna give this guy a try too. But it's not looking good. I might have to zone him. It's probably wise to just zone him now. But let's see. Let's see if RNG turns things around for us. It's not so far, that's for sure. Jesus. Can't hit for for crap. Like he's not crushing us either, but I mean still. Ah. Uh, He's only hitting us for like one, so I'm gonna one and two. I'm gonna see what happens here. We might uh, take the lead. I just hit him for six, and it took a decent percentage of his life, but he just hit me for twelve. It's probably best to zone, but it is right there. Let's see if we can get him to run before before uh, he gets us into the kill zone. Like if he gets us to twenty, then he's not gonna run no matter what, and then. All right, yeah, we're done. Oh, huge med sesh now. And I don't think I can even loot that corpse. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, dude. You gotta be kidding me. I need that other guy to disappear or this could be the end of our character. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Oh no. Please do not be at the zone line other null. Oh, thank God. Whew. Please do not train me, anybody. <laughs> this could be it, dude. This could be it. Oh, gosh. Like, really, right now, if anybody... Train some mobs here to the entrance. This is another reason to make sure you have bandages, because like I should be bandaging up right now. <sighs> wow. All of a sudden things just get super spicy. Might be time to bounce, but we need to be able to kill at least that one knoll, if not more, because there's every chance that uh in fact that this makes me think it'd be wiser to be hunting on the other side of the zone line because that spawn is guaranteed to be waiting right by the zone line right so it's better to hunt over there keep that spawn down and if you get in trouble you zone into here because if you get in trouble on this side and then you zone over there and if the mobs that you brought to the zone line are waiting here then you got mobs on both sides of the zone line and then there is no escape right so yeah I think we're gonna I think we're gonna call it call it quits on the black burrow for the moment and uh, at least when we have enough HP to kill the null on the other side and then we'll go see how that we'll try that grind a little bit and then after a little while we'll go turn in our uh, the fangs that we've got so far see if we can't get ourselves an extra level apparently our AGI has dropped to 67 and I don't know why. Is it because of my HP? It is. Wow. Okay, I did not know that. My HP causes my AGI to drop apparently 33 points. Wow. Which brought it below the AGI cap. So I guess when you get low HP, you take a hit on your AGI, which thereby causes you to take more damage. That is cruel and unusual. Well, I guess it might be usual, but it's certainly cruel. All 
All right, we're just about ready to go. But that's a perfect example of why we want to keep lay on hands up as much as possible because in that situation, if that were to happen again, if, but if I had lay on hands up, I could be like, like if, if the worst did happen and I had mobs on both sides of the zone line, but I had lay on hands up, I could be like, all right, I could choose which zone I want to go for a zone out in. Um, probably I'd want to, to head for Quenos zone line, even though it's kind of a run. I think if I did the strafe running, I could stay out of hit range. So I load into Quenos Hills and boom, lay on hands and then start to run. I got a full HP bars worth to get away with. You know what I mean? So we really want to avoid using lay on hands whenever possible. And look, this knoll ain't even here right now. Like, I don't know if he got killed or <clears throat> or what. Looks like he got slaughtered. Looks like everything around here got slaughtered. Here's a knoll. So let's give it a shot. Let's see how we do against this knoll. He looks bigger than the scrawny knolls, I want to say. Wow, but we're crushing it. And look, there's a bear. Perfect. So after this knoll, we'll go kill that bear. See, he's a blue, but he's barely touching us. It might be RNG. It might be that these knolls out here are a little bit uh, easier. Here's a brown bear. Let's see what we can do. Apparently the Jagged Pine folks, they do not like the Millers. Because, you know, the Millers are... To them, the Millers are poachers. The Millers are making you armor from the skins of the animals here. And the Jagged Pine, they like the animals here. Uh-oh. Hopefully just RNG. Not looking good so far. I mean, he hasn't crushed us too hard. But we haven't landed a single hit yet. Like, what's up, yo? It's a bear. He's pretty big. There we go. Looks like we can win this. Just need some better luck. Youch. Dang, dude. I feel like he's not even really... I feel like my hits are being like interrupted by the bear's hits or something. That's what it feels like. I don't think that's what's actually happening. I think we're missing. This is kind of scaring me with lay on hands down. Okay, we're going to switch to one hand blunt. Let's see how we do. Let's see if we had bash. We need that bash, man. We really do. Oh, night is over. Okay, it's time to go to Quenos and turn in the... Uh, one hand blunt went to 31? I thought I was already capped at 30, so this can go even higher? I didn't realize that. Okay. Ruined bear pelt. Well, I don't know what we can really do with that, but we'll hold on to it, and I think right now we're going to make the run to Quenos and turn in them null fangs. See where that gets us. See if we can't get a level out of that. We'll kill uh, some wolves. Maybe another bear if we see him on the way. Although the bear would worry me. He saw how that bear tr treated us there. But the wolves I think we can handle pretty easily. Why are these guards dubious to me? It's kind of weird. That's not a door. What is going on with this house? Is there a quest here? Welcome, Polonius. What brings you out this way? Be careful. We've had problems with bandits of late. As if the gnolls were not enough. Bandits? Nope, she doesn't say anything. Barbarian cookie mold. So she's a baker. If you want to cook, you can come here. Like, would that be something we're doing? Martin Sayer. Welcome. Please stock up on provisions, especially if you are headed towards the lair of the vile gnolls. If so, I wish you as much luck and many gnoll pelts. I also have knowledge of a powerful dog. I pray you do not encounter him. Powerful dog. I have encountered a knoll who spoke the common tongue. He dared to call himself Lord Elgnub. 
He swore that someday we would cross paths and he would snatch my infant son Joseph from our home. He would stand no chance against me and the mighty Null Slayer. Null Slayer? What's the Null Slayer? Null Slayer is the mighty longsword which has passed down unto me through generations of slayers. My days of battle are over, but I can still wield her with ferocity. My only thing more precious would be my son, Joseph Sayer. I would trade Null Slayer only for him to be safe and sound at home. Okay. We're going to have to check out this Null Slayer quest. Okay. Yeah. I, I knew I had already checked it out, but I'd forgotten about it. And there's a reason. It's totally... It was a quest that was meant to be... Ooh, a rabid grizzly is yellow. We're not killing that. Okay. Good to know, though, for future reference. It was a quest that was totally, like... It was an incomplete quest. It has a second part that comes out in Planes of Power. So eventually, it will be complete on this server. The P99 wiki is like, it will never be complete. But it's... Actually, it will sometime on this server. <laughs> Ooh, Scruffy. Interesting. A named rat. Look, the other guards are amiable to me. Why were those guards dubious? That's interesting. There's probably something behind that. But anyway, the Null Slayer is not that great, and you have to kill a Shadow Knight, level 21 to 23, who may or may not be up somewhere in Blackboro. <laughs> and the weapon itself is a... It's not even a magic item. It's a 628 one-hand slash. 628. Like, this crack staff is 532, you know. It's not worth it. And I think that's because it was meant to be just the first step to getting some other weapon that doesn't manifest until Planes of Power. So we're running back to Quenos. We're going to turn in uh, our, our Null Fangs. We're going to hope that that gets us level 7. It may not. Um, I might be being overly optimistic thinking that I'm going to get half of the amount of XP I got last level with each Fang unfortunately but uh well let's take a look around here since we're here with full hp is there a click knock there's a click knock warrior right there unfortunately he's too close to a beetle but that's a blue mob there's another one going this way let's give it a shot we also need to kill one we need one more bone chip and we got another bone chip turn in so hopefully between those two things we can sort of put ourselves over the edge so to speak Wow, this guy is kicking my butt, dude. Oh yeah, we gotta run for it. We would be wise to run for the Queen of Hills zone line, but I don't want to waste the time. So we're just gonna head for the guards. Yeah, I guess uh, he's blue. He must just be level 5. Which makes sense, because I've been conning them as a red and yellow while I was leveling in this area. Just bring these guys to these guards. And then I'm gonna go out and get myself one more skeleton kill, one more bone chip. If it's an extra bone chip turn in that'll hopefully it might be make or break our, our leveling. It's the possibility. Since I'm so close. Might as well go for it. Ho oh, ho, even better than a skeleton. Dejure Dark Paw, which last time dropped a Null Fang. I have the sense that they might have a higher chance of dropping Null Fangs than uh, your average Null. What the gibbets? My daughter's coming in here getting ready to take her evening shower. Uh oh, it's trouble. <laughs> yeah, like a mouth, yeah. Just looking at my cup of lemon tea. You want what? Okay, so you speak. Ow, ow, okay. No, no, no. I'm too busy right now. I'm making a video. You can't take the headset right now. Because I'm fighting this guy. It's too dangerous. Ah, 
Alright. 3% and another Null Fang. Perfect. There's nobody to talk to. I'm just making a video. There's nobody there. It's just recording the video. <laughs> I said hello this guy. Oh, those guys are just computer guys. They, and they're animals, so they don't really talk. Even, hello. It's still very kind of you. Very polite. Hello. Bye. No, you can't. You can't drink this. This is not for babies to drink. Oh. <laughs> when I finish, you can have it. I promise. I'm gonna pause it while I find just one freaking skeleton. Although, of course, he's probably not gonna drop what we're after anyway. I give up. I think with that extra null thing puts us at five. We only need thirty percent, so five times what gets thirty? It's like five times six or seven. I'm pr I'm almost positive we're gonna get the ding here. Just gotta remember who to turn it into. All right, here we go, Captain Tillon. Let's see what we get. We're at seventy percent. Get nine percent. So we got a level up, baby. Means we're gonna get bashed this time. Ding! Level 7. Very nice. Very nice. Woohoo! Doing great! Now, the highest I've ever gotten on Hardcore prior to this was level 9. That character had some twink gear. Not like great twink, just like. He was, he was given some stuff, and he did some leveling with druid buffs, so... This feels like, this feels like the farthest I've ever gone. You know what I mean? Let's go turn in these moonstones and make some money, too. Alright, now we hand him moonstones. I wonder if we can just do more than one at a time. I bet we can. can sell him back his the ale he gave us for seven silver per and we might as well sell him whatever we can patch of null fur I'm wondering if that's of any use I don't think so let me just double check though okay apparently it's it can be turned in at Hallas which maybe we'll we'll head there because it can give you a Fang of the Wolf, which is goes on your ear, or your primary or secondary. So it's a piercing, one hand piercing that does 526. It's just, this is an upgrade, and it's a magic item. Oh, it's, but it's unusable by Paladin. So at least uh, we could sell it, I guess. We can't use it though. But it, they can also give you a patched Null for a bundle, which is a AC4 Cold Resist 5 back piece that we could wear. So. We might as well hang on to these, actually, because they don't sell for much anyway. And maybe one day we'll head to Hallis. There might I think there's even some other quests that I wrote off just because they were in Hallis, and I should rethink that choice because I'm not really finding what I need here. You know what I mean? Oh, I forgot where I got to take Beverly's report. I think it was somewhere in the city, if I'm not mistaken. I'll look that up, too. Meanwhile, let's get to our trainer. Let's get Bash trained before we forget. All right, bash, 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 boom. It's at level six now. I thought it would go to level seven because I am level seven now when I trained it, but oh well. Uh, it looks like it costs money to do two hand slash, but let's bump that up to 20. Now one hand blunt went up to 31 before I even uh, dinged. So I think now the current max for that is 40. So I really think it's time to just use the one hand blunt for a little while. 
We gotta have one skill maxed out, and it's perfect to max out the one hand blunt with the bashing, because the bashing is gonna need to level up from six, right? So we wanna have one skill like at max, so that when we are, you know, trying to level up something else like two hand slash, if it gets a little close, we got something that really gives it our best punch, you know? We need that strength just in case. I'm gonna throw one point into archery just in case it matters at all. At some point, maybe I'll pull with some arrows, an extra hit. If I if I loot a bow and arrow, I think the extra hit would be useful. But gonna have to do some more research on where we can get a decent weapon, you know. And uh, doesn't I, I'm sure there's got to be something, you know. There's got to be something somewhere. But we did it. We made it to level seven. We killed some gnolls. We should probably kill some more. We should kill some more bears, that's for sure. That's probably what we should really focus on, is killing bears in Quenos Hills. That's what we should do. We'll hang out outside Black Burrow in Quenos Hills. We'll kill gnolls and bears. That way we're getting gnolls, we're getting the gnoll fangs, but we're also killing bears. Hopefully we can get another armor piece. Bears and wolves, either one. Whichever one I get first. We got another piece we can get from the millers, and that's the cloak, the back piece, which is an empty slot for us right now. So that will be an upgrade. More AC means faster defense skill ups. Defense is still only at 16 feeble and I know it's max is much higher than that and we want to max it out especially since we're a hardcore paladin right like defense is going to be kind of our bread and butter but anyway I think that'll do it for now you guys. I will let me get a nice angle here next to wolf. Oh, well there we go. I'll see you next time.